Good morning, eighth graders. Today we are going to be talking about finding the missing angle and side measurements of similar triangles. And our objective for the day is students will be able to find the missing angle and side measurements of similar triangles. So we have already learned about um, similar triangles. So what are similar triangles? If you said that similar triangles have the same angle measurements and proportional side lengths, you are correct. So they will have the exact same angle measurements and they will have proportional side lengths. So if we are given um, the, pr the problem that is shown. It says that the two triangles are similar, so we know that they're similar. Find the missing side length for S. So we're trying to solve for S. So I, S would correspond with two. Those would be the same side lengths, and one would then correspond with three. So I then ask myself, how can I get from one to three? How do I get from what can I multiply or divide by, by to get from one to three? So yes, I can multiply by three. And whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So if I multiplied one by three to get three, I multiply two by three to get what S equals. And two times three equals six. So that tells me that S equals six. So now I'm looking at angle measurements. So it tells me that the two triangles are similar and it tells me to find the missing angle measurement. So my missing angle measurement is right here. It has the question mark. So then I need to look at what corresponds with one another. So this part would correspond with 96 degrees. So this would be 42 degrees. This would be 42 degrees. And right here would be 96 degrees. So my missing side length is 96 degrees. It's important that you measure, um, that, you, that you can pick out what angles correspond with one another. So even though that they're in a different position, it's important that you can tell that 42, that these two angles would match up. And then 96 would match up with this one. So that's probably the hardest part uh, about this lesson is matching up the corresponding angles. So another example, it says that the two triangles are similar. So they are similar. And what is the side length of N? So I have a side length N that's right here. So I then match up my side lengths. Four would correspond with one and eight would then correspond with N. So then I ask myself, what can I multiply or divide four by to get one? So four goes into itself one time. So four divided by four would give me one. So I have to do that to my other side length too. So eight divided by four would give me N. And eight divided by four equals two. So n then equals 2. Okay, another example, it says that the two triangles are similar. What is the missing side length? So my missing side length is angle C. So I then um, match up my angles. So 9 goes with 14, which means that 54 would go with C. So if I do 14 over 9 or 14 divided by 9, what does that equal? So if you put that into your calculator, you would get like 1.5 repeated, right? So nine times 1.5 repeated gives me 14. So if I multiply nine and 1.5, it gives me 14. Now I would need to do the same thing to 54. So I'm gonna multiply 54 times 1.5 repeated. So 54, what I do is I keep that 1.5555555555 in my calculator, and then I just multiply that by 54. And so whenever I do 54 times 1.5 repeated, that gives me 84. So C equals 84, my missing side length. 
So on this one, we um, are told that the two triangles are similar. We're asked to find the missing angle measurement. So again, I need to match up my angles. So 40 would go with 40. So I know that this one's 40. This 40 would go right here. And then 100, which is my biggest angle, would still be my biggest angle. So in this case, my missing side length is 40. And that concludes today's lesson. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. This should be a pretty easy assignment compared to what we've been doing, but we will, it will get harder. So make sure you can do this so you have the good foundational knowledge ready for our next lesson.